Hi guys, it's Josh Weeb here. It's Beekeeping Canada. I uh, just out on this. I think it's after eight right now, and just quit raining here. So I'm gonna try and do a quick graft. Most of the bees are actually back in the hive right now, so I can't imagine they'll be too impressed with me going in there. But we'll get one more done here. I'm just going to put my headlamp on and see if we can grab some of these larvae in here. Got a fairly late start to our grafting season here. And the way things are going, we might be making splits while the uh, Honey supers are on. Many of the farmers are behind as well, and uh, they are. Some fields are four weeks out, some maybe even more. Uh, but other farmers did get a crop in and keep it in. In our area, and those ones are less than two weeks away from bolting and blooming. Um, so if we have hives ready, could make for a really good season. The, uh, come on now. It's been a while since we've had sunflowers planted nearby. Um, but I went out with my neighbor Steve who lets us put bees on his land and He's got a couple canola fields that are butting up against sunflower fields, so that sounds like a pretty good plan for this season. If we can do that. And I've got uh, One round of cells set already into the mini nuke colonies. And I've got another frame of cells that I'll show you after this. That uh, will be set in on Monday. And I've got another frame of cells that should have been set in earlier this week, but we had a, uh, a rogue virgin. What are the chances of that? Pretty dang high this year, I can tell you that. Got too much jelly built up on that Chinese grafting tool, then the cells don't stick too good. The larva don't stick too good, I should say. But this has been really... The larva's been a treat to graft here, so hopefully the bees like it as well. I like that larva to be a full 24 hours old when I graft it not too much more. Uh, it's easy to graft and typically you get really good acceptance on those cells. I like to graft with uh, my frame upside down with the top bar facing towards me. I find that uh, you can see into the cells a little bit clearer and the larva tends to Stick a little nicer if I'm coming in from a top down angle. I 
and last one. So that's 48. 48 queen cells grafted. Take too long of a time. the cell bar and then from there it goes straight into our builder if we can get a 90% fake on that then I'm happy Be fairly quick here getting this frame into the builders. Give them a little bit of smoke. Now my builder is a double deep colony where I've filled it up with brood. Here's my last one. Fairly good graft. 38 out of 45 on that one. As long as we don't get a rogue virgin in this one, then I probably jinxed it now, but if we can get both of those frames through to finished and into colonies for mating, then I'll be fairly happy with the way things have gone. This frame here that I grafted off of because I want that particular colony to be continuously laying and just getting those larvae to 24 hours old. What I do is I take this frame and I put it into a colony that I'm building and let them finish out that frame. And I replace that space with a new empty frame for that queen to lay in. And just every so often, I'll just put a uh, frame of cat brood in with them. Just so they get that young population of nurse bees in there. In the other hive, which I'll, I'll go ahead and do that right away now. Okay, we're back at my layer colony. So for getting the correct age of larva, I do use a double nuke for that and queen on both sides. And I like to run them with three frames of bees and I just continuously every two days I, I grab the larva from one side and I drop in an empty frame for them to lay again. So because I have two sides, that makes it really easy. I can just go side to side every two days, pull out the frame that I want to graft from and then replace it with a frame of empty comb for them to start again. And just makes for an easy routine being able to graft every second day and knowing exactly how old the larvae are. And typically what I'll do is I'll put some feed on this colony and I will put uh, a little bit of pollen substitute on there, patty, and that keeps them, that keeps the larvae nicely swimming in there and easy to graft. So I'm just going to go put some uh, patties and feed on those two colonies, uh, both the, uh, the laying colony and also the builder finisher colony. And uh, that'll cap off the night here. The sun's going down. We don't have much time left. Just to recap, we use a two-stage system. Uh, the first stage is our uh, double layer colony where we pull 24-hour brood out of every two days. And then the next is our uh, double deep finisher colony or builder and finisher colony. 
and that's where the cells stay until we take them out for the transfer. Yeah, it seems to work quite well for us. It's a late start to the season, as I've said before, but uh, yeah, we'll get there. Uh, the cells are looking good and we'll get our colonies, whether it's during the flow or before the flow, it's, it's got to happen. So we'll make that expansion and, and hopefully get a crop out of it as well.